Hello guys. So um, this video we are going to have a look at Aries Sun, Moon and as well Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading uh, March 9th to March 15, 2020. And uh, in case any of you is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can decide what kind of service you want and, of course, uh, purchase it if you wish. So uh, that being said, moving to the reading straight away here. Uh, first one, which stands as the topic of your week, Aries, uh, that is to be the Nine of Cups. Moving next, uh, we do have, wow, the energies which are uh, feeding up the topic, that is to be the Ace of Cups. Um, next. It's going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That will be the Moon card. Furthermore, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the gift and the blessing of the Five of Pentacles. Uh, then it is uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. Uh, that is to be the Lover's card. And the last one. Uh, we do have the guidance that Taro is offering. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Uh, it's quite of a, um, I can't really say typical situation because people would only kind of like hope that they have such a situation, but it's something that happen, uh, that happens rather once or twice a year, I would say, okay, or at least to me. So uh, let's move to the first couple of cards. We do have Ace of Cups, Energies, Nine of Cups, the situation itself. So where do I begin, uh, begin with even? Um, Ace of Cups, Energies. Uh, these energies of the Ace of Cups, it does amplify the love to live life in general. So you can expect that whatever... Uh, enterprises and whatever situations you are to have throughout the week they are going to make you very very happy or at least the very majority of them to a point where uh, basically what the card points it is that whatever you look it's going to look very very differently than before it's not going to look gray but it will be dappled with colors because you're going to look at this time around through a overflowing joy now Typically, those energies of, of, from the Ace of Cups, they do provoke things to happen that are making worries and issues, concerns that you may have up until now, totally irrelevant. Therefore, your daily routine into your career or into your relationship, it kind of transcends into something much more exhilarating than before. So you can expect to have uh, to be quite content going into your job, to be quite content as well, going out with friends, knowing that you're going to love the, uh, the enterprise, you're going to like the endeavor. And who knows, maybe you're going to find love as well if you are single and you don't have a person of interest. But the, these energies are going to lead you to the situation of the Nine of Cups that you are going to start seeing um, the fullness of life. Okay, it's like that you're going to feel blessed. I don't know how to say it really or how to how to express it because the Nine of Cups, it is where you see that um, things are now very predis uh, predisposed for you to experience a, a wish fulfillment, if you will, like said, fullness of life, joy for some as well, that will lead to ecstasy either. But the thing with the Nine of Cups is that uh, one should not mistake a, a, a current situation where you feel very pleasant, loved and, and happy as well, that that will last forever. Because uh, with the Nine of Cups, while you reach a peak of experience, that peak of experience may not be long lasting unless you do not do what's, uh, whatever it's needed to secure it. Okay. And if I have to give you an example, say you're single and you start going out uh, socializing with people, with friends, and everybody is quite gentle, everybody is quite open, and you love in generally, you know, what you, what kind of uh, enterprises you're going to have throughout the week with new people, uh, into new social circles, and suddenly you start kind of like flirting with someone, and that someone answers to your... Um, 
to your moves uh, quite uh, quite pleasantly. So there you go, your wish fulfillment, you know, of having suits, all right? But that is not guaranteed to be a long lasting unless you do not sustain that situation. Keep on texting that person, you know, asking them out to go on a date or kind of answering to their um, uh, to their calls as well because they may call you also. It's going to be a two ways but you you should kind of like have the initiative here and as well how can i say it well basically do what what you can to try to, re, to traverse or transform i would say the short-term happiness you are to have through the circumstances and predisposition of the uh, of the events of the week into a long-lasting one uh, so those who however um desperately need something to happen and desperately need something to change either into their career or either into their relationship to give them an, an upper hand out there and to allow them to um, change the things for the better in order to improve their circumstances such thing is going to happen with those energies of the ace of cups but once again that is just the uh the means you have been given with okay but you, what you do with those means that depends on you uh moving next here it will be the uh challenges that you will have to overcome that is uh, the uh, moon card so the moon card here points uh, that uh, to you everything that happens comes out of nowhere so you are going to be quite surprised with it and it's very common when the moon comes in such narrative, people to start thinking that it is too good to be true. And um, this uh, this person, for example, that it's kind of like showing interest in you, that is just for an example, has some um, nefarious intentions or surreptitious intentions behind, that, that they are not innocent, that they are not pure, uh, you know, and that uh, they are not straight open. But that's not the case, really, because with uh, the moon card as a challenge, the challenge itself, it is to overcome your insecurity, emotional insecurity, that is, for your uh, co-workers, in regards to your co-workers, in regards to the project you are working, uh, your partner into relationship, for example, or your suitor as well. Because uh, the moon card really kind of points that not everything is going to be clear. For example, you will be baffled why that person is showing interest in you or why your boss gives you that project. While somebody else, according to your opinion, though, uh, it's uh, more fit for the project itself. Well, that is not you, that is not up to you to decide, really. Um, it is up to decide to your suitor, are they have interest in you or not? It is up to your boss to decide who is most fit for the project itself. So just don't concern yourself with the reason why uh, these good things are happening to you. Just enjoy them uh, and uh, do whatever you can to sustain them because it will require once again an effort of your behalf to transform this short term happiness and abundance into a, a long lasting one because uh, what i um what eludes me to mention here it is the nine of cups nine of cups it is like uh the grace of god or what i like to say the grace of the universe or the grace of fortune that lays on top of you with full fistfuls and gives you its blessings its blessing to do whatever the heck you like and that it is to happen at least throughout the week okay and uh, once again to make it long lasting you gotta do what it is asked from you to do in order to do so uh, in order to make it such uh, moving next it is the blessings that you can enjoy here we do have the five of pentacles uh, that card points uh, to uh, some let's say unexpected difficulties that you may face throughout the week and uh, the card points that you are blessed with a compassion and that you are blessed with the fact that you are not alone in it say you have problems in your overall life well that card points that either you're going to face them being supported by a friend of yours or being supported supported by your wife or being supported by your husband or uh, say you have troubles paying your rent 
sharing that with your supervisor or with your boss they will figure out a way to help you with it you just you need to know here that whatever predicaments you are facing because the nine of cups in the ace of uh, in the ace of cups does not promise that everything every predicament you're facing is gonna go away okay they're just more like a adding on top of it a good experiences but still you will have to tackle with some uh with some concerns and issues of yours uh and uh, the gift and the blessing is that you are not alone in it okay and you can definitely rely on someone else's helping hand there to uh, if not resolve those issues at least postpone them for a future resolution so moving next here it is uh, the impression you are leaving into the people around that is to be the impression of the lovers card so people are going to see you as a, a quite open-minded because the lovers is all about colliding differences in that particular case and instead of walking away from a different thing for you to experience you are to embrace it and that will kind of like lift up the spirits the spirit of your co-workers or of your friends seeing that instead of reposing away you know a, a proposition for example or a <clears throat> kind of approach from somebody else uh, you actually are willing to explore it and to see is this thing can bring harmony into your life or is this something that you will not actually like but in order to identify that you have to try it first or at least explore it first so <clears throat> the lovers here speaks that people are going to see you much more willing to create coexistence symbiotes symbiosis and um, harmony into relationships uh, and not just only with people but also with projects and endeavors and with enterprises it is like much more open to become fit with one or another thing and that itself is going to bring much more social contacts into your life throughout that particular week and uh, moving next uh, the last one here it is the guidance that Tara is offering so what I said is that the circumstances will be quite uh, surprising and you may have that symptom here of not believing that that is real because it's way too good to be true well the ace of wands as a guidance point to that it is real and actually it appears to be very gaining for enterprise at the end of the day and also give a hint why you may feel insecure because with the uh, not pentacles but wands excuse me because the ace of wands points that you may not have the necessary experience to go through it but uh, but this doesn't mean that you will not be able to get the hang of it very very quickly and that's why you have to explore everything that comes everything new that comes into your way because you have no idea at that point what you are capable of because the ace of wands also speaks for slumbered talents or slumbered skills that you are completely unaware you have and that week for one or another reason you will you are going to find out about them and you will start most likely developing on them uh, i hope that you do not find out the hard way around but rather the easy way around and in order for you to do so once again is just believe that what happened what is happening to you pleasantly it's more than real it's actually there and it is yours to capitalize on so that being said Aries this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below will give you a link to my website uh, from which you could decide what kind of a um, reading you want and upon purchase I will contact you within 24 hours um, giving you details how the reading is gonna take place that being said, uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.